It's the middle of the summer in Paris, and this is it. The final stage of the Tour de France. Your teammate approaches ahead of the pack. You pass off the satchel with the food and drink he needs, and you're confident he'll finish strong. All because of the special, legal mixture in the water bottle. Ketones. That's right. Studies in elite cyclists have shown that this unique ketone drink formulation significantly improves their performance, which can give them just the edge they need to win races. Some of you have probably heard of ketones in the context of the ketogenic diet, but the inner workings of ketones are far more complicated. Ketones are incredibly versatile molecules, and using them for therapeutic purposes is the focus of my research. Although ketones are mainly known to be an additional source of energy, they also have non-energetic properties as well. For example, we now know that ketones can reduce inflammation in a variety of diseases, but we have yet to test if this is true in one life-threatening condition, and this condition is known as sepsis. Simply put, sepsis is the body's extreme response to an infection, be it bacterial, fungal, or viral. Sepsis has excessive levels of inflammation, which result in organ damage and ultimately even death. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that sepsis accounts for almost 20% of all global causes of death. Sepsis is treated by using antibiotics that directly fight the source of the infection. But this takes time. While an antibiotic may be working to kill the bacteria, this time allows the live bacteria to continue triggering the immune response, resulting in more inflammation. And this inflammation is the key process that allows an infection to cause further injury by spreading to the other organs through the bloodstream. And in fact, this principle is also how COVID-19 works as well. Currently, no treatment exists to prevent the inflammation and organ damage that can occur from sepsis. And thus, I predicted that I may be able to use the unique anti-inflammatory properties of ketones to treat this. So, in a mouse model of sepsis, which has lots of inflammation, I gave mice the same ketone drink that these elite cyclists use to determine if ketones can help prevent inflammation. And to my surprise, this treatment worked exceptionally well, showing a huge reduction in harmful inflammatory proteins, both in the blood and many vital organs as well. With more studies, we may one day be able to use ketones to treat the many diseases with excessive inflammation and to help the millions of people and families affected by infectious diseases worldwide. Thank you.